Oh, I do have a series of seconds here, so yeah, yeah. Alrighty, here we are in the second installment of the Are You Gaming Round Robin I forgot my title, Torment, but Torment this most definitely is, was, and will continue to be. Let us move along into the second game of our series, Dash Rantic versus Yui Admiral, yours truly. Just do that, Mr. Zack, silence. I know I had my splash screen going. I know I had my splash screen going. Backseat casters! Silence! I kill you! So, let us begin. I'll actually knock this down because there's no reason not to. Zulu! Zulu, 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 Zulu. I'm going to have to come up with some weird shit to be saying at the start of all these games, because there's really not a whole heck of a lot going on early on. All I can really point out is usual, normal ass, normal first depot, and an extraordinarily early scout from me just because I know if I don't leave right the fuck now, I'm going to get walled out. Dash does not make this same determination, and does not send a scout out immediately to get inside my wall. Dash with the early double geyser before barracks, indicating a very gas-heavy build, probably not going to be going infantry. My scout coming up here along the ramp just as the barracks goes down. Even if he decided to stop constructing the barracks and drop a depot down, he really didn't have time to finish that. Dash with the less than full geysers, he does this fairly often. Seems to work out somehow. Looks like Dash is going to be walling me in, which is... Oh, he, he opened to the gate to allow me to walk out. You can see here Dash trying to scout up my ramp, but the automatic pathing means he didn't actually go to my ramp first. But here he is arriving at the ramp. Scout denied. And meanwhile... He's chasing my scout all around the damn place, as I am seeing everything, including that factory going down, as you can see. I still see not full uh, usage of this geyser, but I do still see the factories, and I just know Dash tends not to fill his geysers to capacity, even though I just think that means his geysers should simply come later than he builds them initially. Down here on my end, I am working on full geysers, getting another depot. I should be getting my uh, orbital command right now, but I'm too busy microing my fucking scout, which I'm about to lose. Oh, do I get away? Do I bother to leave? No, I get marine. Okay. Yes, Dash commenting during the game to make Dash panic and forget to build anything, because there's a scout in his base, there's a scout in his base, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But Dash continues with his two-factory play, still not filling his geyser. <laughs> really indicates that the geyser just came too soon. Now, I'm coming down with my factory crazy, crazy late because I was focused way too much on scouting Dash and figuring out what the fuck he was really going to do so that I could respond appropriately. The uh, key feature of my own thinking this entire series has been scout my opponent, scout my opponent, scout my opponent, react to what my opponent is doing, instead of actually pushing forth on a build that I walk into intending to do. So I'm playing purely reactionary, and I just see him going heavy mech. I know Dash characteristically lacks anti-air, so my reaction is I'm going to do two port banshee. Has Dash filled his geyser yet? Dash has. Dash now going for the armory so that he can start a Thor and have some semblance of anti-air, but that's still fairly limited in capacity. He hasn't even built any more than one marine. He's just completely wide open from the skies.
Now, I'm a little paranoid about when Dash's attack is going to come, so I'm trying to set up some kind of reasonable defense here of a cluster of marines and a tank or two. I think I start a second one right after this. Here's my subsequent scout running around, trying to see what he's got. I see the two tanks. I know that's happening. So <laughs> that reinforces my belief that my banshees are an absolutely correct play. However, I believe any moment now, Dash is going to scan my base and see my pan see my banshees. There we go. So there's the Dash scan. In uh, he knows he never got a good good scout off. But here he goes. He sees exactly what's coming. But from my conversations with him, he completely misinterpreted what this meant. He thought this was going to be medevacs because he saw my two racks, which is typically part of my, my drop build. But he didn't clue in on the double tech lab, which the only reason to ever do that is for banshees. My banshees are moving up toward his expansion, which is not well developed. I'm probably just going to fly right over this. There's not a lot here to do. We can run over here. We see Dash's anti-air summed up as Marine Mine Thor. No turrets, no nothing. Oh dear, a Thor. I'll just cloak. Oh dear, a scan. I'll just leave that and kill something else. This Thor actually scares me away from the one thing that really threatened me, his Widow Mine. So I'm just cleaning up his, his, uh, his mech with complete impunity. And the GG comes right before my... Oh, they don't hit cloak things. They used to hit cloak things, Widow Mimes, but apparently they don't anymore. So there you go. This is how a game should look when you know exactly what your opponent is doing and how to stop it. Short, sweet, to the point. This is the only game you will see in this series like this. And that concludes game two of the Ravaged Universe. Yes, as Mr. Zack says, that was anticlimactic. That concludes game two of the Are You Gaming Round Robin Torment series. Ugh. Ugh.